Painting is a visual silence, a silence that is not followed by words, a silence that is beyond speech. Ibn Malud said, the person who has been given silence has been given the gift of wisdom. So in this painting, I've explored the idea that Allah has created all of the animals for man. And all of the animals are within man. Not physically within man, of course, but their tendencies, their traits are all within man. Their characteristics are within man, within the human being. For example, the goat is stubborn. The lion has courage. The horse has power. There's a speed in the elk and the gazelle. And to each of the animals, Allah has given a protection. To the snake and scorpion, they have a poison. To the skunk, there's a scent. To the porcupine, quills. To the bird, talons and wings. To the bear, a strength. To the lion, courage and speed. To the chameleon, the ability to change color. And to man, Allah has given the special protection, the zikr Allah. So within this painting, I'm indicating that within man are the traits and tendencies and characteristics of all the animals so that man can know himself better. He can understand by seeing the anger in the wolf or the peacock primping or the mouse who waits till somebody's not there and sneaks up and takes something behind their back. All of these tendencies man can recognize within himself and know himself better. Within the land, the earth, water, air, fire and ether, the air above the clouds, man observes the world through his five senses. And indeed the world exists to him through his five senses. To the person that's blind, the world of sight does not exist. The person that is deaf the world of sound, the sonoral world, does not exist. These are the gifts of Allah that he has given to us so that we can recognize his magnitude and we can recognize everything that we see outside of ourselves and ourselves as being created by him. This being has wings, wings that can in, its, in their silence, take them above the negativity of the world and rise above those difficulties that we have in life.